Hey everybody. Okay, clearing. I'm, I'm laughing because I'm pre-shuffling and getting the instructions for what we're going to get into and I'm over here rolling up my sleeves because like we're getting into it. So this is going to be a divine masculine check-in and this is all about if the masculines were in their hermit cave directly asking source for direction, in uh, vision, going forward, what is it that they would be receiving? They are receiving at this time about all the aspects of the connection. What are the steps that the masculines are envisioning taking regarding each of these energies? And how involved are the feminines in this picture of reality that they are downloading. So thank you, Divine Creator, for using me as a channel of only the highest, most beneficial information coming through for the masculines, Divine Masculines that I'm channeling and the collective that joins me here. What is it we can see? about the divine intel, the awareness that these masculines are seeking, obtaining, what are their next steps, actions, words? What is the process and how involved are the feminines in this vision of reality? What can the masculines foresee regarding the feminine involvement? Okay, conscious mind about these connections. What are they being shown at this time? Seven of Cups, just how many abundant options are actually available for them? The Seven of Cups is a very daydreamy kind of unlimited potential, maybe even too much option. So really, if they've been in scarcity, this is showing that there's more than enough to for a lifetime of exploration, I just heard. Energetically, Temple of the Moon Goddess, emotional transparency, nurturance, and grace. Okay, so these masculines are being ushered into emotional transparency because of the growth on these connections. So where they may have been reserved, closed off, not so transparent in the past, this connection is cultivating an actual authentic understanding of what emotional transparency is, what is required, the merit in actually being emotionally transparent, there are so many ways to look at emotional transparency, but the Seven of Cups does talk about the unconditional love, the Holy Grail, the actual divine aspect of emotional transparency, the God's given purpose of emotional transparency. So these masculines are being shown that <laughs> there is a, a there is value in emotional transparency, but it's being taken advantage in these masculines in the past, in karmic situations, because they've willy-nilly had emotional transparency where it didn't belong. That's what I'm hearing. What do they want to do in the future? Yeah, they want to keep it to themselves. They don't want to just, for all the world to see, be some kind of emotional exploration, expression, <laughs> and, you know, have those onlookers not quite understand what they even mean. Or look at them like they have 10 heads. So because the divine feminines understand the divine masculines, because they're looking through righteousness, through higher love, they get it, masculines. Not everybody out there understands where you're coming from when you're trying to express such depth. 
This is a really beautiful message. Yeah. So they don't just want to tell everybody how they feel, feminines. It really is a high honor. How involved do they want their feminine to be? Ooh, the Two of Cups. So they kind of know you're the only one they want involved. Let's say it that way. But they are distilling it right now. This can be a little bit of a boastful energy. And so right now there seems to be a continued humbling process going on. That might mean that they do have a few options right now where they're still testing the water to see if certain friends, family, other romantic options can meet them on this level, can see eye to eye, can identify what they are expressing. It's interesting because I'm hearing it's not them it's me. Masculines are testing if it's their own inability to express or if the people they're expressing to are just not on the same level. So a few people in their orbit are in the questionable box. So these might be people that the masculines have looked up to or thought that they had some kind of status or could offer validation or acceptance in some way, ego. So there are some people around the masculines right now where they have at one point felt less than and they want to prove themselves. I believe they're going to see through the surface of that. And then the energy will be more clear for this one-on-one -on -one acknowledgement with the feminine interesting so they're being led to express themselves more transparently emotionally um, with personal opinions our emotions are indicative of our authentic personal views on things so these masculines are about to have some conversations with people and see the true colors or whether or not these people actually get them. And it's going to set you apart, Divine Feminines. What are these masculines being guided regarding their specific feminine? To love themselves. King, uh, hmm. Knight of Cups. Yeah, so that's love offer, but it's internal. So this is for themselves. They're mustering this acceptance of self. We just talked about that really specific energy of the masculines wondering if it's them that's not somehow good enough for these ego alignments or whether it's actually the arrogance or mm, closed off energy or unkindness from these other people that they just need to remove themselves from it and consciousness beginning and faith. Yeah, so these masculines are truly beginning to actually love themselves and not need to be accepted by the people that are too cool for school or somehow in a hierarchy of power, superiority. What do the masculines want to do next? Yes, this is helping them refine who to be loyal to, who to be committed to, who garners that, who is worthy of that. Ultimately, they're going to be loyal to themselves and see that they are their own best friend, their connection to source. This is an inside job. It's not about whether, whether other people approve or they finally can jump through the hoops or be good enough for somebody else. This can also be father issues, father of pentacles. This can be career, finance, abundance. So their whole money story might be connected with their self-worth in this way that they haven't felt good enough for others. But this is also helping them fine tune what they are 
most aligned with so that they don't invest in things that are not actually a fit, not actually aligned. They're, this is a game changer because they're seeing in real world circumstances that they, they matter and that the people they've been trying to impress have been self-absorbed possibly or not on the same page that they these masculines weren't meant to impress these people it's not about that they have been put in these people's lives so that they can continue to refine themselves and specialize in who they really are and so this is setting the masculines apart this is what is removing them from the world they are in the world but not of it they don't need to subscribe to the worldly rat race, the competition lack paradigms. Where are the feminines fitting into this? Eight of swords, so feminines, 11, 11, I just saw. This is you freeing your mind from the entrapped thoughts that you're not good enough. When we see that it's about the worldly paradigms versus the love, compassion, it's not about whether your masculine chooses you or not. They're learning it's not whether other people choose them or not. It's about alignment. It's about what is for you. It's just, it's just diversity and uniqueness and compatibility. But really, the word is alignment. As your masculine removes themselves further from needing to, I heard, be a round peg in a round hole, <laughs> trying to be a square peg in a round hole, oh, you take it, you know what I mean. As your masculine stops trying to force it, it illuminates how synergistic your connection really is. So it has never been about rejecting you, feminines, and that's the thing that your thoughts can be adjusted. It's a learning process. It's a deepening. It's experience. It's exploration. What can we see for these masculines on the heart space about the connections? What are they going to higher guidance for? Knight of Pentacles, how to lay a solid foundation and to keep investing in the highest potentials available here. Luminosity, empowerment, forward motion, exactly. So they're being shown how they can keep slow and steady, winning the race, um, illuminating the things that need to be healed, encouraging, um, bringing momentum to your connection. What do they want to do next here? They want to do this in small, kind, genuine ways, one at a time. So they want to show up in the physical with more initiative. Where do they feel the feminine fits in on this? Seven of Cups, wow. So that was the very first card that we got here with all the options and all those extra individuals and interactions and scenarios. This card is now in the inverse, which highlights that one holy grail, the one cup of love. That is also the one that they will offer you here. So they are preparing feminines to come hither, <laughs> to come in closer, to bring increasing connectivity into your relationship. This person is taking off a mask as well. And so they know you already see them down to the bare bones with this skull here. And now they're going to show you. It feels like these masculines are going to bring light to luminosity, light body activation. They're going to keep showing you the real potential on a soul level that they do have. Bit by bit. Sure-footed. Because you deserve it. Your connection warrants it. It's justified when two people actually see and get each other. It's not falling wasted with those who don't appreciate 
And we don't have to be everybody's cup of tea, but we also don't have to overly give to things that aren't aligned. So these masculines are really specializing in discernment here. What are they feeling on the heart of hearts? What's being given to them about their feminine? Queen of Swords. This is grace, tact, timing. Wow. And crystal capacitor, storage, time release, and focused force. These are very strategical but soft energies for a masculine to be getting because this is very tactful, tactical. They are conscious. They are very aware of wanting to approach you in a in a very precise way. That's going to differ for each masculine how they feel that approach needs to look or be, but it's very well thought out. Timed release, storage. We already got the fact that these masculines want to do things in precise, showing up more and more in the physical. Storage implies that they have been collecting ideas for a while, that they have been curating a plan, that they have been ready to focused force is like executing a strategy. This does also look like um, sights. So they have like laser sights set on you in their heart. They want this impeccable tact and timing to be at play though, because they want it to have impact. They want you to appreciate even beyond what you trust and love about them, they want you to have memorable, meaningful firsts with them, I just heard. They want to create memories that will last a lifetime. What are their plan of action to free their own minds from their own overthinking? The feminine just got the same card. So in a way, this is a perfect example of mirroring because you've been overcoming these things, feminines, and now we see the masculines overcoming their fear to approach. This looks like instead of being all up in your mind overthinking, you're becoming receptive, and now the masculines can free themselves from holding back and begin to come in more genuinely. So you may have also been freeing yourself from certain circumstances, feminines. Karma clearing, I'm hearing. What is the relevance of the feminines in this motion? The chariot, forward motion. So this is momentum. This is what happens when the masculines are getting this green light to come forward. We get movement in the connections. So it looks like you are going to accept and receive your masculine in these ways. It's funny because this individual is looking down and I don't think they're necessarily looking at the way that their counterpart is coming in. It's more of not sight unseen, by, but guided without having to see. It's this knowing, this navigation of forward motion without seeing things. I'm hearing in a hypervigilant or scrutinizing way. The Queen of Swords in the inverse can be a little bit demanding and critical, cynical, skeptical. There's trust in this posture. <laughs> I just started like, Mom, no hands. <laughs> snap that's mastery so yeah feminines you're like i don't have to fret <laughs> and the masculines now that means it's safe for these masculines to come in it's crystal clear with crystal capacitor what can we see for the manifestations these masculines are feeling to roll out five of pentacles so this is the card of separation, it's in the inverse, so that can be the end of separation. That can also be the end of financial trouble. And we get Orion, Stargate, power, authority, influence, ambition, right? So I've channeled for years now that these masculines will not come forward into union before they can be monogamous and before they are on purpose. They have to be 
at a healed level enough to be contributors, to want to go into service before they can actually have true monogamy. Because before we are healed and able to be generous of spirit, we don't actually know ourselves well enough or have what it takes to be in a true love monogamous scenario relationship. And so now that we're seeing this healing, healing money story, healing separation, influence, ambition, authority, power, this can come out. And this is a power dynamic, power couple dynamic. So they want to manifest this abundance together. What are their next actions? Leap of faith, the fool. They will be embarking in something brand new here. A new career path, an additional career path, going into a place, position of power, a raise, a career advancement. And I'm feeling that their nerves are not shot. They are actually feeling positive excitement or peace about making this career path adjustment, change, advancement. Where do the feminines fit in? Nine of Cups, this is what you've wished for. So you're not meant to become manic and, and hyper about this news. This person is self-contained and not sort of going off the handle. They are standing firmly planted in the knowing that this is good indeed. <laughs> so feminines, yeah, just be chill and watch for these things to actually be presenting in the physical before you create storylines that aren't grounded. What are the actions these masculines are being guided to take? Seven of Wands, bravery. Um, this may be talking to friends, family, co-workers, employers. Um, usually the Seven of Wands talks about somebody beginning to step into leadership and show how there can be a better way. It's innovation, it's um, new energy coming in, it's new ideas that are being shared. It can be a little bit of a debating energy or a bucking the norm. So these masculines are prepared to fight for this vision that they are receiving from higher guidance. Self-sustaining systems, fluidity and abundance. Yes, yeah, so they have been given some divine intel about their abundant path forward, this shift in ambition, but it's self-directed and it's fluid. It's a natural fit. And so they can get behind it. They can champion it. These things also relate to their twin flame journey, their divine love journey. What are they going to do next? Yes, they're looking more than meets the eye, deeper than surface level. And they're pulling on intentions and energies and the forces that be. They are in tune with life force energies they see now the cause and effect of things that are dead end or destructive or not righteous the error of their ways they have some real life experience but they are savvy about the energetic cause and effect and so this is helping them trust the foundation that they are creating will that will amass abundance because it won't be pilfered or leaked or squandered it will stick and they do want to show others how this can be possible this is a leadership card what can we see for how the feminines will be involved wow so you might be thinking your masculine is off to the races and um i'm getting this when it you least suspect it kind of energy this person is mourning and grieving Oh, darkest hour I just heard. So for some, it's not going to feel like you're just in your highest timelines and having the time of your life. You might have some moments of sorrow, of regret, of remorse, of sadness. You might feel hopeless. You might have waves of not knowing if this journey was all you thought it was cracked up to be. And I'm feeling that that moment of humility or tenderness 
two messages that your masculine may surprise you right in a moment where you need it the most and start showing up now that you're not making them the source of it, but you actually have come through temperance on this journey to the point where it would make all the difference really authentically, you may get an update from your counterpart that is very, very encouraging and meaningful feminines. The second message I'm getting from that is that there is a lot of purging out the lower vibrational fear that these connections aren't going to come together or there could be a wave of frustration. This can be you in your own world dealing with your own karma cleanup, your own accountability. It's not necessarily self-absorbed and self-centered in a negative way, but self-focused. And you just might be oblivious at how much progress your masculine is making right now because you've got your hands full. And when push comes to shove, I think you'll be in for a pleasant surprise once whatever this difficult energy is that you're processing dissipates, you're going to have your counterpart pleasantly surprise you with something. This can also say that your counterpart, your masculine, has been working on their abundance behind the scenes bravely, more than meets the eye, not really telling people about it while you've been thinking no changes have been happening on the surface, you might be thinking, oh, they're just so happy over there. Nothing's changed. But meanwhile, they're doing something behind the scenes that's transforming themselves, your future, the future of this connection. They're investing for the long term. I'm hearing for some, it's not just you that they've dropped off the radar with. Their whole life has been transforming and many people haven't had access to these masculines the way they once did because they've been streamlining and focusing on things that are very, very deliberate and aligned. What can we see for the biggest challenge these masculines have? Eight of Cups. Walking away from things that don't add value and even having to be at a distance from you. So many times these masculines have wanted to come forward, have wanted to connect more deeply, but they have seen or felt it wasn't time yet because they weren't able to give you everything they know you deserve and are worthy of. Prism of existence, separation, extension, independence, identity. This is one of my aligned relationship cards, sovereignty, and then connection space. So each person being in their own wholeness and then contributing in a shared space because they don't need anything from each other. They're balanced, they're harmonious. So these masculines, the biggest challenge has been staying back so that this harmony can be reached in the connection. What do they want to do next about this? They're relying on divine timing divine guidance, divine intervention to keep this balance in the cosmos. So they're trusting that when it doesn't feel right, even if they want to so badly come forward, that they are allowing for divine guidance to take priority over their own ego needs. And those may have been times in the past feminines where you've been confused about what has happened. This is so they can actually give and receive equally, appropriately going forward. So they have had to finish up things just like you have feminines and they want the real deal with you. They want to start contributing in a meaningful way and reciprocating and they don't want to have to stop that because they've cut corners or escaped from things prematurely that they could have finalized or overcome or initiated before coming forward. They want all of those things to be in place so that you can get to the fun part, to the good part together. What is the solution that they're being guided with? Three of Swords and Radon Adam. Autonomy, self-fulfillment, non-reaction. 
Three of Swords is a big card of accountability because swords represent our thoughts. And in a card like this, there's a heart and the person experiencing this has some thoughts that are causing a deep level of pain. And so living a lie, people pleasing, believing that others are out to get us or don't like us, all those things create anguish. If we fester in those enough times, we manifest anxiety, disorders, um, trauma causes us to go down those downward spiral rabbit holes. These masculines, the solution here for you masculines is to hold your own self-fulfillment, non-reaction. Don't get sucked into karmic thinking and drama loops. Stay insolvent to those energies. Don't tell yourself those stories. Drop the storylines. Don't go there. If you're starting to feel something creep in that is a low vibrational storyline about something, remove yourself from it if it's true. And if it's something of speculation or fear, tell yourself you don't need to go there and redirect your energy to what is at hand that you can align with that is more positive or higher frequency, genuinely. But don't go down those rabbit holes. What is the action? Yeah, so this is the Four of Swords. This is the saving grace that comes after the Three of Swords. When we hold our own, we can see things objectively from another way. We can get our thoughts in order, we can get our thoughts straight, and we're not all discombobulated and, and hurting. So this is emotional navigation, emotional EQ. EQ, what, how do the feminines fit in here? Okay, we have the magician in the inverse. So this is kind of like, you don't have to do anything at this point right now. Your masculine is working on it. They are on it. They are preparing. They are doing so much inner work. And it's helping them be very, very clear, intuitive, insightful, wise. This is helping them make all of these changes behind the scenes that we saw a little bit earlier. Their abundance coming in, the ambition. They've been in preparation to come together with you and... I'm just seeing like hit the ground running. They don't want to start from square one with you. You have no idea how abundant this is going to be from the get go. Once you come into union, what is the direction in the near future that they are being shown? Knight of Wands, passion, transcendence, prayerfulness, and serenity. So they are very much learning to remove themselves from things that are not equally matched so any lower vibrational energies that are not mutually able to offer benefit, truth, equality, if there's any kind of taking advantage, overcompensating, imbalances, these masculines are setting healthy boundaries. They're no longer desiring to have lust-based connections with those who can't contribute. In the past, this was instant gratification. The Knight of Wands can be um, an intimate connection kind of card where they've dabbled in various energies and different templates, different connections with feminine energies. And now they see all of those different ways that were not their match and they're releasing themselves from needing to perpetuate those patterns. <clears throat> Let me see, where are we at? Oh yeah, this is the solution. So instead of recreating heartache, hurt people, hurt people, they're doing the healing work. They're holding their own and they're not going down these paths anymore where they just keep repeating unfulfilling patterns. So they're taking responsibility for their own passion, their own life force energy, their own contribution, their spiritual value. 
and they're not engaging in things that are not able to meet them on that level. So this is that leadership coming in. Instead of having to test all the waters, they're now becoming individuals who can talk about things from experience and guide others without having to be all up in the business. <laughs> what can we see for their actions? This is their star path of destiny. They are qualified to step into leadership because they are truly overcoming their own lower selves. Wow. If you want to master teach, so they are in the upper end of the developing energies that are allowing these masculines to be gung-ho and excited about what they've learned to the degree that now they want to apply it. They want to apply it and to teach and to start to see and be encouraged by the real authentic value that they have collected on their own personal journeys and now they want to give back. How do the feminines fit into this? Oh, I got two. Wow, the Ace of Wands, that is the purpose as well. So this is that power couple dynamic. We had the wand in the magician too. So your masculine is going to surprise you with a destined channeled direction here. You're not meant to fully know where you fit into that yet, but it's here in the energy that you have already been aligning and preparing without knowing how it's actually going to roll out. It feels like your masculine is going to initiate whatever this new direction will be for the two of you. And the card of Four of Pentacles showed up here. Usually this card has a guard on the heart space. This feminine has removed the heart wall and is now dropping the guard. This is about becoming receptive. Your counterpart, if they are this energy I'm channeling, they've come into a very deep connection to source where they've been fully surrendering to the divine timing and the path that is out before them in with divine alignment. And so every step of the way, they may not fully know how things will roll out, but they will be coming in and showing you this version of themselves that, that channels this kind of instruction in because they're in prayer. They're they are asking for higher guidance and they are following it. And so you can drop the guard because this person is no longer, if this is your aligned one, this person is no longer moving from ego and trying to manipulate and control. This person has now seen the alignment with their free will and divine will. They are right with their universe, their soul. They're becoming more in flow, aligned with relationships that are good for them, with higher guidance and service. This is beautiful. Okay. What can we see for the feminines? One emotional card. Fear in the inverse. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. You have been one after another dispelling fears on this journey, feminines, and you've been doing those on a personal level. It has been needed because the two of you are going to be stepping out into the world in service together one day. Influence. You're going to be communicating with others around you. People are going to notice your light especially as couples, and they are going to ask questions. They're going to be drawn to you. The, you are going to be a voice of the divine together into the world, whether that's families, friends, coworkers, bigger missions, you know, anything that you find that you've, you go into together, everything you've been going through is pe preparation for those hungry for what you can impart and show them. What about for the masculines? And so you've had to purify your channel through 
dispelling fear and bringing in the loving truth every time those illusionary energies have come up to tempt, to test, to trick. What about the masculines? We're getting health in the inverse. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay, so message here, masculines. For many of you, you have been using health routines. You've been using regimes. You've been using strategies holistic strategies. This is saying it's time to do a deep dive and really prioritize the knowing of your soul, that it's about your soul health. Um, whatever's good for your soul, whatever sits well with your soul, you don't need to follow any kind of rigid religious regimes. It's about things being well with your soul. Then everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. Your soul knows through the Holy Spirit what is of utmost benefit and what isn't. And that is almost, you know, the only real guideline you need is to know what is of benefit and what isn't. And then never stray from it. Okay, many blessings, everyone. Bye for now.